In entertainment news today, the Disney Corporation has spent $4 billion to save the Star Wars franchise from the ineptitude of George Lucas. George Lucas has decided that he will donate all $4 billion to the Star Wars prequels reparations fund. Alright, in seriousness, I personally don't think that the sale of Star Wars to Disney is that big of a deal. I mostly think that the D Disney is going to, aside from making more movies, uh, just incorporate Star Wars more into their theme parks and, and their overall product line. But I have a suspicion, as they did with Marvel, and this was brought up in numerous articles, that they will essentially try and maintain the integrity of the series. Because at the end of the day, they know that they have to, to some extent, please the fans in order to... Um, keep the franchise going and popular. But the way that I look at it essentially is that when growing up, I, I love Star Wars. Uh, I was born a couple years after the original trilogy ended and the movies were a big part of my childhood, the toys and all of that stuff. And I remember being, you know, 10 years old and eagerly anticipating the prequels years before they came out. And then I saw the prequels and it was something of a letdown. But more than that, they continuously released uh, just, they've exploited the franchise in every way imaginable. TV shows, cartoons, video games, just the, everything conceivable they've already uh, expanded the, the franchise into. So it's not like Disney could take it and, you know, I'm sure they're gonna make more toys, but it's it's not it's not like it was just three movies and it wasn't this thing that was had the hell exploited out of it already. I mean, there's not many more you know directions that that Disney could take it to exploit it. Not only that, but I, in my eyes, the the overall franchise was tarnished by the prequels. Now that's not to say that I utterly hate the prequels. They have their merits. They're just sort of a letdown. But going into the future, I think that Disney will essentially treat uh, the Star Wars franchise probably the way that they're treating Marvel and Pixar and take more of a hands-off approach because I think that they realize, especially when you, you, they're acquiring something with a large fan base, that pleasing the fans is ultimately going to be the way to make the most money rather than having Mickey Mouse uh, fight Darth Vader or something ridiculous that people are proposing. And uh, in the hands of something, someone other than George Lucas, it would be actually interesting to see where they take the movies. And I think there is more story potential and they might actually capture more of the spirit of the original Star Wars, or at least put a different take on it, if they got somebody who grew up a Star Wars fan to uh, write and direct and work on the movies, rather than just have it be mostly the vision of George Lucas. I would compare it to the Doctor Who franchise, for example, where the modern episodes, many of the, the classic episodes, especially the early ones, the writer were, you know, this is a job, I'm writing an episode for a show, right, for maybe several different shows, and they, it's not the same as modern Doctor Who, where practically all of the writers, or imagine maybe all of the writers for the show, grew up with and have a deep love and appreciation for the show, have had been imagining stories all of their lives, and want to do their best work. With fresh blood in the franchise, and the writing, and the directing, we might actually get better Star Wars movies and who knows maybe maybe uh, Joss Whedon will direct the next Star Wars movies like he did the Avengers and uh, maybe everybody will love them this might actually be an opportunity you know out out of the, the the control of Lucas or mostly out of the control of Lucas for the the franchise to uh, revive itself now if they're talking about releasing you know a movie every couple of years so in the long run Run, they might beat the franchise to death, but don't think that there isn't hope. I really don't think they're going to mess with the franchise too much because at the end of the day, if they alienate the fan base, then they've ruined their franchise and they're just 
you know, tossing their $4 billion down the drain. And um, I really don't consider myself a devout Star Wars fan. I read maybe one or two I've seen all the movies and read maybe one or two of the uh, the novels I used to play the card game when I was like 11 um, the decipher one not the subsequent games but uh, so maybe I don't have as much of an emotional investment in it as other people who who are freaking out about this but on the whole I again I really think that the franchise can Disney really do more damage than Lucas already has? Ask yourself that question. And that's my take on it. Have a lovely day, Star Wars fans, geeks, and random people watching this video.